What's going on, everybody? It's Avatar Shay or <laughs> Shay Yance, as you can see in the headline. And this is my review of the Renaissance movie. Now, for all of you who don't know, you may live under a rock or just not be into it. I am talking about Beyonce today. Right now, I'm talking about Beyonce. If you're not a fan or you don't care, click out. Come back at another time. I got other stuff down the pipeline. And now that I'm in the new spot and all settled, <laughs> I definitely will be able to deliver in a way that I haven't ever before. But right now, right goddamn now, we are here to stand the illustrious, the beautiful, the awesome. Shayonce. No, Beyonce. I went and saw the Renaissance movie. I also saw the concert twice. So there wasn't much of a surprise in the movie. But since I saw the movie recently with a friend in the midst of business trips and moving and all of that stuff, I decided that it would be a good idea to just do a review on it. Because <laughs> why not? Because <laughs> why not? I think out of five stars, I'm going to start with my star rating. I think the movie gets a three and a half. And I give it a three and a half because mostly it was concert. You know, I I get that she was trying to uh, make it so that people who didn't get an opportunity to enjoy the concert because the prices were high as hell. And it was not something I was going to do more on that on a Beyond Selfs channel. More on that there. Go over there if you want the tea for 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 the more in-depth renaissance Beyonce why I've been moving for months now T anyway the prices were astronomical as one would say and it was not on my radar but it was something I ended up deciding to do because I got a nice little bonus and there you have it but what I came to the movie for as a fan of Beyonce as a renaissance concert goer I wanted to see more of the behind the scenes stuff and mostly because I saw the concert twice and I know what to expect. And when you're sitting there, if you are a techie like me, if you are into construction and building things and design like me, that stage was fucking crazy. It did so many different things. It was so much put into the show in general that if you are not a Beyonce fan, I think that you could just appreciate. So I wanted the science. I wanted more of that stuff. I also like to see Beyonce's carefully curated vulnerability <laughs> as well with her and her family and all of those types of things. So, and it was not very much of that in, in the movie. It was more so in the beginning, I would say. And then the last half of that was just mostly concert. I do appreciate the fact that she was trying to let people who didn't get to see the concert see the concert. However, you know... I, I, I just wanted more behind the scenes. I wanted more of the stuff. Do, I think that if you are a homosexual, if you are into R&B, if you are somebody who's into like how certain artists do what they do, because there is some genius level shit to me connected to the design and the whole process that goes along with Beyonce as a package, as a brand. I think that you should go see the movie. No, I did not know that there was three stages going all around the world. <laughs> I did not know. Not all around the world, but because she only went to Europe and the Americas, but and mostly North America, to be honest. But there was three three stages in rotation. OK, so when I was in where I am in my location, my home location, and that stage was being set up and I got to see it being set up sort of because I lived right near the place where it was being constructed. There was two other ones out there in the world, one being constructed and one being danced on. I think that the logistics of that and trying to make sure that things go off without a hitch is crazy. But again, this is more so Renaissance, the concert, <laughs> more than the actual movie because that is more of what I wanted to see. I thought that that was dope how she went into some of that without spoiling too much of it. And it was just overall beautiful. The concert was beautiful. So you get to see the beauty of the concert. And I think that is all I have to say about that. Go see it. Go check it out. If you're not into that, wait till it comes out on like DVD or do they still make DVDs? Not DVD. On streaming services or whatever is going to be on Netflix. I heard is in the mix somewhere. So wait till it comes out on Netflix and check it out there. If you got a, if you got a login, that's all I have to say about that. Peace.